Today at the European Parliament, the Greens hosted the Ramazzini Institute from Bologna, which presented the results of our pilot study on glyphosate. For us, it's something to be proud of. And I would like to ask Dr. Esther Belpoggi to briefly explain which kind of results you had on this study. The study was a pilot study, and for this reason, and this characteristic is not a risk assessment study, but just we would like to see if the low doses, the admitted daily intake in particular in the United States, applied to different groups of animals as glyphosate and Roundup for the period of development could affect the reproduction and developmental parameters. And the results show that uh, adverse, adverse effect uh, uh, were observed. What we have seen, micronuclei presence in the animals treated with Roundup, uh, an androgenic effect both in male and females, and uh, microbiome alteration in the puberty period, and uh, also, last but not least, the bioaccumulation of this compound into organ and tissue that mirror what we have seen, that is, uh, an increase of the concentration of glyphosate in the urine, uh, depending from the time of the exposure. So, based on what you said, would you say that glyphosate is safe for human health? I can tell that, uh, that uh, glyphosate uh, is safe for human health, but in this moment, I cannot tell that it is dangerous because this study was a pilot study, as I stated, and so we need further research but not only in the field of carcinogenetic uh, effect, also in the reproductive and developmental period of the life. We know that nowadays, degenerative disease starting from infancy to the adolescents and young people are increasing very much. And so we have to explore also this effect and then to relate this effect, if they are, with uh, the carcinogenic potential. So we know that there are many potentially dangerous chemical substances that are still widely used in the world. So why did you decide to focus on glyphosate? We focus it on glyphosate because uh, of uh, the discussion that was open between IARC and EFSA and BFR and ECA on the safety of this compound. And when we were asked to give our opinion, we said uh, we have not an opinion. We can just answer with the science. And so we decided to ask our fellow to donate the money uh, for sponsoring a pilot study in order to have an overview on the possible adverse effect of the so-called safe doses of this compound. Um, who finances the, the, finances the study and uh, in what way? <laughs> because uh, we know that we, you collect money in, in a very strange way. And, and is, it, is it true that you want to continue looking for funds for a continue the study? We are looking for funds uh, uh, through our associates. We have in Bologna, in the Bologna area and also other areas in Italy, more than 30,000 associates. We are a cooperative, a no-profit cooperative. So our owner are citizens and I work for them. And uh, we decided to start with this pilot study but to continue up to the end of a long-term biose to expose the possible carcinogenic risk. So uh, this is the, our, our aim. This is our aim and I think that is a service 
that we are doing to society, giving the possibility to perform a comprehensive study that could expose all the possible adverse effects independently financed by citizens of Europe, United States, Italy, all over the world. Because remember, people exposed also to low doses of uh, this compound are billion on our planet. So this should be done. Um, one of the aim of the Greens uh, on this issue and on this discussion is to ensure that uh, uh, independent studies like yours uh, can have more weight in the EU authorization procedures than the studies uh, sponsored and uh, realized by the, I would say, the multinational, the, the, the industry. So in, the, in that sense, glyphosate is very emblematic about this discussion. What do you think about this? That we choose just this chemical because it had this characteristic. But we start from the beginning with a, a, an error because we have not a register of the study already performed. So there are a lot of studies that are, that are uh, um, replicated. And, uh, and we don't know the results because they are secret for the ones that are industry uh, sponsored. So, you know, we have to review the system as a whole because what, uh, what uh, the glyphosate gave uh, to all of us was the perception that the system is not realistically protecting human health, is missing a lot of endpoints, and above all, uh, we privilege industry uh, benefit to the human benefit. So thank you so much, Dr. Teresa Belpoggi, for your work and also to be here today to present these very important results. Thank you very much to you for hosting me. Thank you.